May the 4th be with you. I hope all is well. I had a cool background that said, May the 4th be with you on the back there, but then I got thinking copyright and, and that kind of stuff, so I didn't want to get into take that road. So may the 4th be with you. Um, just a reminder that uh, we are in deadline four for both grade 12 and grade 10. Uh, grade 12, you have Hamlet, you have the summaries for each scene, and you have your tombstone project, which is uh, the explanation for that tombstone project is located in your course outline booklet. And that's on Google Classroom, you should, unless, if, unless you have the hard copy. Uh, it's also available in the LibGuide, so please check that out. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I did provide some examples of what a, a tombstone could look like, a symbolic one, a traditional one, a contemporary one. So please take a look at that PowerPoint on Google Classroom. And the sooner you, you get to it, uh, that's off your plate. And you free up yourself, free up time for yourself and you for your family. And uh, that's, a, you can apply that same skill in post-secondary. The sooner you get to your assignments and uh, projects and things like that, it frees up time for you uh, later down the line and uh, it doesn't become stressful. And grade 10s, you could be doing the same thing, get your stuff in as soon as possible and for yourself uh, sometime later in the month. And so grade 10, you have Ender's Game, you have the um, summaries to, to, to complete, and that's based on plot. Please do not use the uh, recaps uh, as and, and submit those as your summaries. No, uh, th those recaps are just to recap, just to let you know what's been happening in the in the previous chapter, and uh, just to get, help you uh, stay on track with the current tra chapter. If you want to incorporate that into your summary, um, as a as a small uh, addition to your summary, um, that's fine. But you do need to focus on plot. So there's a lot of things happening in that chapter. Uh, regarding plot, so please be sure that you have a concise summary written uh, for your chapter or chapters. And there's questions after each chapter, so please submit the chapter questions after the chapter summaries. And in the video I posted last week, there is an assignment right at the beginning of the Ender's Game section in the course online booklet that deals or pertains with science fiction, please incorporate that with your chapter one, okay? And then the uh, sliders and the Star Trek uh, Borderland episode, no, we're not doing that. Um, nobody has access to it. Uh, so please don't do that and don't worry about that. So if you watch the video, you can see uh, what, um, you are focusing on and uh, what you don't need to focus on. Okay. Um, and I think that's it for assignments. Regarding supplemental learning, uh, for those of you that are continuing with supplemental learning, uh, thank you. And also it's a benefit for you because you're, it's going to help you with your transition into next year. Uh, so working at uh, maintaining uh, your skill sets and of course uh, working to improve your mark. You know already your mark's not going any lower than, than it is or was uh, um, at time of closure. So you can put that aside right off the bat. Uh, this is an opportunity to work on your skill sets, time management, and uh, uh, try to keep it as much normalcy as possible during these unprecedented times. Uh, those classmates of, uh, that uh, of yours that have opted out, uh, if they are interested in opting in, please have them contact me and uh, they are welcome back. Uh, so take back your year. That's a new initiative that we have. So it's important for you, uh, for all of us to take back our year uh, because it was taken away because of the um, unprecedented 
uh, pandemic. And so you can take back your year uh, by participating in supplemental learning and um, working on those um, skill sets in your respective subjects and so on and so forth. So again, if you have uh, classmates of yours that would like to get back in, not sure how, uh, just have them contact me and uh, we can go from there. Okay, and again, those who have uh, or continue to be a part of supplemental learning, um, thank you and uh, and amazing job in deadline three uh, for projects um, under the circumstances. All of you did a fine job, so I'm so proud of you, and I thank you uh, for your support and uh, your hard work. Okay, so keep that up. Other than that. Take care, be safe, and we'll talk to you throughout the week and, of course, throughout the month. And if you have any questions, email me, please, and we'll stay in touch. Okay? So, until next time.